Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming headset. So this particular one is by Logitech and it's the G Pro X. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes nicely packaged with a picture of the headset there. Pro X along the side there, Pro at the top and Logitech there. Blue voice just over here. Coming around the side, you can see it says Logitech is the choice of pro gamers and eSport leagues worldwide. Coming around the back, you can see it says Pro G 50mm driver, Blue Voice software, DTS headphone, X 2.0, aluminium, steel headband, premium leverette, memory foam, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 32 ohms, 91.7 decibel at 1 MW and 1 centimeter. Coming around this way, it shows you the content of the package and the details again repeated here as shown on the back. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. So I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. Card here opens up, got some of their products highlighted there and says keep playing. Thank you for choosing to play with Logitech G and it also says the same thing in other languages. Coming this way, website and social media details. Next we have this guide and if I open it up, has content details there and then coming in close for this one, just informing you if you're going to connect it to a PC and you want surround sound, use the USB adapter on there. Now coming around this way, it's showing the other connectivity options. So this is a situation where you connect it to a controller and you're not going to get surround sound using this. Next, if you use the cable for a mobile phone, and again it's highlighting, you won't get surround sound with that either. So surround sound will only be working on a PC. Next we have this booklet and it's highlighting important safety, compliance and warranty information and this is multi-language. I'll just open some of it up just to give you an idea what to expect. That's what you have there. Next we have the carry case and nice soft material feel to there and you can see it can be slightly stretched. String on each side to enable you to close it up and just to show size wise the headset can easily fit in there together with the cables if you wanted to, there's ample space. In terms of build quality, build quality feels okay and you've got the logo just on there. Next we have the PC splitter cable in terms of cable length, it's 12 centimeters end to end. If we look on one side, you've got the connection point here and this is where you'd plug in the console PC cable and these two connection points will be plugged into your PC. So this will go into the microphone point you can see there's like a pink color to that one and the green one would go into your speaker connection point. Then we have a USB adapter to provide the surround sound on a PC. So one end has this chunk and it says Pro on there. The connection point is just there. Coming around the other side, got some details on the back there. And the cable here is five centimeters in length and all braided. This connects onto your PC and it's got the G on there. Build quality seems reasonably good. Next we have the detachable mic, so connection point is just over here. Looks to be gold plated, so that's cool. And the microphone point is here. Nicely flexible as well, just to show. And again, the end over here is covered in foam. Build wise, it feels good. Next we have the console PC cable. Length of this is 1.4 meters. And in terms of connection points, they're actually gold plated. Cable is all braided, has a good feel to that. And looking over here, you've got the mic mute option here and a clip to clip it onto you. Got the G logo on the back of that. Build wise, this one feels good. Next we have the mobile cable and this is 1.9 meters in length. In terms of build, it's actually a rubber feel to this. If I can come in close just to show. And the connection points are gold on there. If I come over here just to show, you've got the controls for your mobile as well. Button there, and you've got the hole for the mic there. Next we have two memory foam cloth pads. So these are replacement ones for the pads existing on the headset just to show very soft feel to that and coming around the back you've got leatherette on there and this is where it sits over I'll show that in a moment and some soft material here build wise 
seems okay just to highlight left and right highlighted on them. Next, let's take a look at the gaming headset. So coming in close, you can see there's an aluminium area here. You've got all plasticky here, all matte finish. Coming down below, you can see there's the point where you'd connect your connectivity cable. So either the mobile cable or the console PC cable. You've got the mic location there and it's identified by the fact that the connection point is slightly different. So if you look on the mic, you've got a plastic area there. So that ensures you don't accidentally plug it into the other one. You'll know straight away which one to insert it into. Now coming around here, it's flexible. Same as the other one. It doesn't turn sideways just to note. It's just flexible like so. On the ear cups themselves, you can see left and right and very soft leatherette on there just to show the pressure you get on there. Very nice, comfortable feel. Coming around the top, got pro on there, leatherette all the way round here. You can see the stitching if I come in close. Looks pretty cool. Now, if I pull this out, you can see the different stages on there. And this feels like metal. And then you can see the cable just come in down from the top and the cable up here as well. This area pulls as well, obviously. And if I pull it to the maximum, which is this, and in terms of clamping force, it feels very light. It doesn't feel heavy at all in any way. Now to replace the pads here at the side, it's just a matter of pulling them off, reveals the actual speaker underneath this, and then you can take your replacement one and hook it straight on. There's one on, and again, very nice cushioned feel to that. Let me try replacing the other one as well. Same again, you can see the speaker revealed just underneath. If I come in close, just to show, let's put that cover on now. And there we have it, the other pads on now. And just to show, very nicely cushioned. Next, looking at the top, you've got some vents here and coming around the other side, nothing more. Now, just to note, one of the things to mention about this headset, it's a wired headset, doesn't support Bluetooth in any way, so you have to connect the cable to it to work. In terms of style, I think they've done well. It actually looks really cool. Let's weigh the headset. I've got my digital scale here. If I bring it up now, you can see it comes in at 340 grams. Let's test out the sound levels from the headset. So I've got my sound level meter here, and if we go quiet for a moment, ambient noise levels in the room come to about 35.5 decibels. Next, I've taken the mobile cable, one end's plugged into the headset, the end closest to the controller goes in that side, and the other end goes into my mobile. Now, if I open up the headset, so I've placed the sound level meter in between the headset, so next, if we press play and ensure the volume's at maximum, and it is, if we just keep a track of the levels we're getting there. Okay, so we're getting around 83 decibels coming out of there from my mobile to the headset. Next, let's measure noise leakage from the headset. So I'm gonna cover each earpiece up like so and play music at maximum. And let's see how much noise we get coming out of there. So I'm not putting any pressure on the sides and I'm just holding it down. We get around 49 decibels from it. Next, I'm gonna test out the mic on the headset with it connected to my mobile phone. So you can see it recording in the background. Now, if I put the headset, I'll overlay the sound on this video. So I've got the headset on now and the mic's about a centimeter away from my mouth. And this is the quality to expect if you're on your mobile and you're using the mic. So hopefully sound wise, it should be pretty good. Looking at the levels we're getting on there, we're getting quite high levels. Next, let's set up this headset to work on a PC. So I've got my adapter here. I've got the PC cable, console cable here, and let's plug in the cable initially into the headset. So the end with the controller, 
that plugs in there. And the other end of the cable plugs into this external sound card. So if I plug it in like so, next we just need to plug this in to our computer. Just at the computer now, if I plug this in, and there you go, it's up and running. Okay, so I've put on the headset, so the sound you're now hearing is the quality of sound being recorded by the headset. Now, if I click on the headset on the screen, this is what we're presented with. Set your mic level input gain so that you can be heard when speaking normally, but are not distorted when speaking loudly. Next to that, record a sample of your voice, then play it back to hear what you'll sound like with blue voice on or off. Next to that, enable Blue Voice to begin customizing your voice with its filters. Any adjustments will be applied real time to your voice. Sample as it plays back. Got it. Okay, so as I'm talking, you can see the gain levels on there. And moving this down. Test one, two, three. Gain level goes down. Let's put it to 100%. Then you've got enable blue voice. If I click there and then the equalizer appears there. So you've got low, mid, high, advanced controls that are here. So let's see what happens if I hit record. Select a preset that works for your recorded voice sample and or tweak individual settings to find ideal settings for you. Next to that, and it's recording at the moment. So if I stop that, and now it says enable blue voice advanced controls for additional customization options. So I've got it. If I press play, select a preset that works for your recorded. So now I'm hearing settings to your the recording in the headset. So if I bring my mic in close, ideal settings for you. Select a preset that works for your recorded voice sample and or tweak individual settings. The so quality does sound you. good on this. Next, Let's that. pause that and we'll go to advanced controls. A lot of options here. So high pass filter, noise reduction, expander, gate, de-easer, compressor and limiter. Looking down the side here, so it's on pro broadcaster presets. If I go to G2 shocks and then we've got London Spitfire Profit. TSM Ablaze Olive, TSM Dequan, TSM Hamzil, TSM MIPF. So quite a few pre presets in there. If I come down, you can see the rest. TSM Spicker and TSM Tactical. Looking further down, you can see Browse More Presets, Blue Voice Presets, and you've got AM Radio, Broadcaster 1, Broadcaster 2, FM Station, High Voice Loud and custom presets here and create new presets. So you can adjust the sound levels quite a bit with the blue voice settings here. And again, in terms of clarity, very impressive. The quality you're getting from the mic is very good on this. Now coming over to equalizer, then you've got equalizer settings for the headset, eSports presets, you've got G2 Shocks, London Spitfire Profit, TSM Bergen, TSM Hamlins, TSM Myth, and then some more down here. Okay, over here, if you look, you can see it says update onboard memory, DAC. So that's the memory on the USB external sound card. And so you can update these settings and you can save it directly onto there. Then you've got acoustics. So in acoustics, you've got volume level here, microphone and side tone. So then there's an option to enable surround sound and you can enable quite granularly all the settings coming all the way around. So you can make some ends quieter, some ends louder. So a lot in there. And now let me get my mic close to the headset. And if I click test surround sound. This is the left channel. Next, we have the center channel. Over here is the right channel. This is the right surround channel. Now, the right rear surround channel. Next, the left rear surround channel. This is the left surround channel. The next sound you'll hear is the LFE channel. It's pretty good. So I can actually hear on both sides of the headset, the sound quality, and it's 
does sound like virtual surround sound. Quality is very good on there. So now looking over here in the corner, you've got Pro X settings. If I click on that, you can see a picture of the headset, some details here at the side and over on the left, it says noise reduction, enable hardware noise reduction. Coming back from there, and that's it. That's all the options you have available. And very impressive, the level of options you have in there. Very granular, lots you can adjust in there in terms of the mic and the sound levels on there. Surround sound wise, I was very impressed. Very clear and you can tell the obviously the different channels going when the test is running. So very good. Okay, so now we've got Fortnite running. Just trying to give as much detail about the headset as possible. Sound quality wise, it does sound good. And again, surround wise, it does give you a good immersion in there to the point of you can hear sounds coming around you. I think in terms of gaming, it's always good to play off a headset. Just gives you that extra edge. I've actually placed one of my microphones directly into an earpiece just so you can perhaps hear some of the sound quality on here can't give you exact clarity on what it's going to be like but it is very good now the test you're hearing is me playing on a PlayStation and the recording you're hearing is happening on a PC so what I've done I've taken the console PC cable and plugged it into the controller on the PlayStation and I'm recording the footage directly on the PC so if that should give you an idea what the sound quality would be like so as you can hear it is very good what I'm going to do next is unplug the headset from the controller and plug it into the USB external sound card and let's see if that works One, two, three. Now the sound you're hearing is via the USB external card and as you can see it works via that as well. In terms of surround sound, there wasn't any comment in the instructions to say it provides surround sound. It's hard to tell actually with it working but I think it requires the software for it to work so I don't think you really do get surround sound on this. In terms of sound quality it does sound good and as you're hearing in this recording that's the level of quality you're going to get from the mic on this. Now the next test I'm doing I've actually plugged in the headset into my Xbox and the sound you're now hearing is a recording happening on my PC. So I'm in a duo match and that's what you're hearing. So quality wise it's pretty good, I've already heard it and in terms of functionality next I'm going to try plugging in the USB external card and see if that works on the Xbox. So I've tried connecting the USB external sound card and plugging the headphones into that and that doesn't work. So the actual USB external sound card only works on a PC and PlayStation. In terms of look and style, I think the headphones look great, really do. The only comment really is you can't rest them easily on your shoulders so they don't turn. So the actual ear cups here, on some of them they turn so they can rest on your shoulders just down there. But other than that, a great looking headset. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Logitech G Pro X gaming headset. Excellent gaming headset here, comes with a good selection of accessories. The USB adapter, just to note, works on a PC and provides surround sound on there. It can work on a PS4, but it doesn't provide surround sound. You've got a number of accessories, so it can even work with a mobile as well. Comes with a carry case and some replacement ear pads. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. 
Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.